Hi, I'm Professor Jiang from EGN Smart Electronics. Today, we will discuss the basic concept of electric circuit with you. Have you ever seen a circuit like this? This circuit has a battery, an LED, or a register, and a switch. Have you ever seen a register before? If we haven't seen it yet, don't worry. We'll also run our register soon. So, how do you turn on the LED in the circuit? You can press the switch. Also, which connect this electrical control? Oh yeah, there are wires. Wires connect in the element in the circuit, right? Wire can conduct electricity well. So, they are often called conductor wire. Then, do you know which conductor conducts electricity best? Series, gold, and copper. Do you know which material conducts electricity better? Is it gold or copper? Uh, many people seem to think that gold conducts electricity more than copper because gold is expensive. Surprisingly, copper conducts electricity better than gold. Another material that conducts electricity well is silver. So, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. The order of conducting electricity well is silver, copper, and gold. Of course, the one we use the most for wire is copper. Do you know the reason why? Because we know copper is the cheapest and electricity flow well. Therefore, copper is the most used wire. Also, electricity flow well. Therefore, copper is the most used wire. By the way, we often use gold to connect the terminal in the IC. In addition, semiconductor devices such as transistor, MOSFET, in satellite sometimes use gold fretting for sheet dissipation. I think you've heard of using transistor and MOSFET with gold fretting. If you have expensive audio system, the conductor and jack are often gold fretted. So, why do you use gold so much in cases like this? First, Gold conducts electricity well. Of course, I mentioned earlier that silver, copper, and gold conduct electricity well in that order, right? Second, gold do not change very well. In particular, gold do not oxidize. It do not react with other chemicals, and gold do not change easily. So, the gold is so soft, and therefore the workability is good. This is very useful for wire bonding of IC terminals. Also, the contact resistance of gold is very low when doing wire bonding. When the contact resistance is low, electricity can flow better. So, we use gold a lot in many cases. In this chart, we look at each electrical component in the circuit. Let's look at the battery first. How much is bought usually when buying a battery? Usually, 4.5 volt battery, right? Another big battery is 9, 12, 24, and the higher one is 48 volt. There are also 16 volt batteries used in cars. Batteries are a source of electrical energy. It's a voltage source. Voltage or battery will be covered in detail later. Also, here is an LED, light emitting diode. What happens if you connect the LED directly to this battery? In other words, uh, there is no register in this circuit and dielectric to connect battery to LED. 
when too high a voltage like as 4.5 volt is applied to LED, the LED will overheat and break. So you need to make sure that you don't let too much current flow through the LED. And this resistor prevents too much current from flowing from the circuit to the LED. In other words, resistor is what you use to control the current flow in the LED as you like. Here, we learn only this much about LEDs and discuss the detail of LEDs later. Meanwhile, what did I say you have to turn on the LED? Uh, there are switches right here, and the switch acts as a connection between two wires. So, when you turn on the switch, the two wires are connected. What if the two wires are connected? All electrical components are connected through conductors. When each electrical component are connected through conductors in this way, uh, the current will flow. A switch in which all parts are connected through the conductor in this way is called the closed loop circuit. Uh, so, when the switch is turned on, the current must flow in the closed loop. What happens if we turn off the switch in this circuit? In this case, two wires are disconnected. So, you can say that the circuit is often. So, for the current to flow in the electric circuit, the circuit must not be often, and the current must flow when the circuit is in the closed loop. If you think about the direction of the current, the current flow from the positive side of the battery to the negative side of the batteries. Today, we briefly look at the basic concept of electric circuit. Thank you for watching.